second. Damn, your rent must be cheap. Let's do it. Hey, yo, Jack, what's That's up, the man? first time. Make hey, some motherfucking yeah. noise. Yeah. Somebody throw money out on it. And it, and it went away so quick. I didn't know that y'all was dancing. They didn't do that at all. New York Roaches thing. Yo, when I tell you, I looked up. At least Sophia got the look, Jack, yeah. so no, so 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 Yo, Patty Daddy, you come back anytime you want to. Hey. Hey. I thought you were going to do that. See, I'm a bougie bitch. Y'all don't pick up dogs. Listen, they, 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 they just felt like having fun. You know, we had ABS in the building. We got, a, we got some good guys with us today. Nah, this shit was lit. I see you ain't popped that rosé, though. I see you ain't popped that rosé, I think it's time. I think it's time. That's for his bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's for here, Jack. You just got him no, no, no. He didn't give that shit to just you. Uh-uh. Who was you talking to when he gave that shit to you? Who were you in a conversation with oh, when he gave that shit to you? She pressing you right now, Jack. She want that rose. She pressing you. She on me. The Jack, I know one lady. Oh. I think you gotta take your hat off. I'm not. No menages over here. When he blowing, when he blowing bubbles in your butt. She deserves. This is a kinky one right here. Hey, no, I'm not, actually. Yeah, I like what you're I doing. Pretend. Let's make some noise for Jack Thrilling and, 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 and. Like there we go. Dope. This is dope. This is dope. So you dope as fuck. Like I was listening to some of your music. You thank are you, you, like not a lot of people know how to rap anymore. And um, I just feel like it's a fact. Like I feel like you got bars. I feel like you going in. Like what? What do you do? You feel like it's harder with the fact that you can rap opposed to mumbling the mumble rap and all that shit. Do you feel like it makes um, it a little harder? And do you have uh, hidden mumble tracks? No, nah, I don't mumble. <laughs> I want you to hear what I gotta say. I got a story to talk about. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, nah, I feel like I feel like music it had to, you know, go through cycles. Right. You know, I feel like every Absolutely. every coast has their time. Like you got mm-hmm. East Coast got their time, West Coast, Midwest, South Side, you know. And right now it's coming back to the East Coast. If you pay attention to what's happening, a lot Cut. of the artists that are coming out, that are becoming these big name artists are New York rappers who, or not just, I mean, let me not say that, are people that can be lyrical and lyrical, people that yes. can rap. Like, you got J. Cole, who I think is an incredible artist. Right. You know, and he raised, you got Davies, you got a lot of these guys that can rap, and this is what they're looking for now. So I think it's actually good now. Like, I think two years ago, it wouldn't really matter if you could rap or not. Right. But I think now it's like, if you could rap, it's like, oh shit, yo, yo, you heard Addy Rax? Right. You know what I'm saying? So I Mr. Think Rax. This is a good yes. <laughs> Rax on Rax. I'm about to touch your ass right now. Rax. I'm about to touch your ass. Mr. Rax. You said right now you feel like the East Coast got the bag. That's that's your opinion. Right. I'm from the West Coast. Okay. So I'm feeling as artists. Why do you want to cut my ass? I just gotta get it. You can't talk. Right, you don't know who you're around. That's Listen. Right, go ahead. So when you get into this topic right now, uh, honestly, to cut it short, real sweet and simple. Basically, you feel like right now you're saying New York artists have the bag. West Coast, say, okay, everybody has their timing. At the end of the day, what are you doing in your time to make a difference into society and the people that watch you? Because you got a lot of rap. Wait, 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 I'm not done. Because a lot this of people man are about rapping. to smack you. No, come on, pull up, pull up, pull up. Wait, come on, you know we gang bangers yeah. in the West Coast. Oh, uh uh-uh. We ain't fashionistas. I hear. Long story short, no, honestly, a lot of no, stop it. A lot of people, honestly, as artists. We got G check, huh? Yeah. I think I think Atlanta got it right now. I know that. This is how we party. So. As an artist, like you said, <laughs> y'all laughing, it's not funny. As an artist, like you said, you have a platform. Yeah. You have a platform to reach out to other people. Uh-huh. And L'Oreal told you about you being this rapper, you doing this, and you having uh, being a dope rapper. Uh-huh. What difference are you doing than other rappers that's mumbling? Because when you come to mumbling artists, when you mumble, when you come put it in a category as mumbling artists, uh-huh. 
you're putting in categories they really ain't talk about shit. But then you got other artists that might come out with that hype shit just to the beat, whatever. What are you doing that's different that doesn't put you in that category as mumbling artists? Like are you talking about um, as far as my life or as far as music? No, your music because your music I mean, is gonna put an days. outcome on society. Can I answer your question? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Let me answer it. Or you gotta hold more to it. I made through Christmas toy drives. Hey yo, I didn't say he did. Yeah, shit. I didn't say he did. That's why I asked the question so people can hear it. Wait, wait, let's just let Mr. Stacks answer the questions about that. All right, but check it. At the end of the day, like my story is different from everybody else because it's my story at the end of the day. You you understand what I'm saying? And then on top of that, um, we actually give back to our community. We, you know, we do toy drives. We do, uh, we do t-shirt drives, we do everything. We we really out here, like we ain't just rapping That's and we rapping, like this shit. And you from the Bronx. I'm from out here, like I'm really in the, and, and I'm out here, for real, you feel me? So have like, you, have you, I'm sorry to. I want to answer her question. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I didn't say, I didn't disagree with her. I kind of want to ask him because you. we need the people to hear this. Oh, yeah. Nah, I wasn't but, cutting but your eyes. I just I mean, asked him so they can hear it. I mean, all you got to really do is just follow me. If you follow me, you can see a lot of things that I do. Like, we always give back to the community because so know follow. there was time when we took away from our community. So the only thing we can do now is give back to it. Right. You feel me? I'm going to change the subject a little bit because I'm feeling a little hot and heated. Um, Go ahead. Have you ever been into the, like the URL rap nah, battle? I'm not a bad rapper. No? You've never been into that culture? I love it. I'm just not a bad rapper. I love watching. I'm a fan of it. I'm just not. See, I don't participate. Hattie Rats is one of those rappers. It's very sensitive and emotional. <laughs> but that's why I feel like, and you're lyrical, so I feel like you would be like no, dope. No, he'd he'd fuck around, slap the shit out of a nigga that say the wrong shit. Really you better hold yourself, girl. Yeah, I never did that. I, I, I admire you, but I would Thank not you. I admire you. I would admire you. Do you still? Go into my life and say some shit yeah. that's really when you try to hurt me for real. Because a nigga like your daddy was a snitch. <laughs> was Word, they three dicks. And <laughs> but they seriously and be going like, hey, 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 Yeah, sometimes I mean, my I'm face. A, I'm a big fan of it though. I'm a, I'm a huge yeah. fan of Who's your favorite battle rapper? My favorite battle rapper is. I already know. You know already. Yeah. Don't yeah. Know what you're gonna say. Well, here we go. My favorite battle rapper. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. You gotta say it. Yeah, say it in the loud, guess, yes. <laughs> you saying it too nah, loud. Say Damn, you heard. I'm gonna say my favorite battle rapper is Murder Moo. Mine too. There yeah, we go. That's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> And, and Moog is just a, he just got a, he's got such a great energy to him while, you know, I, I like him personally, you know Right. Do you Murder still Moog. work with um, Buck Wild? Because that's yeah, how Buck Street Wild had with the brother. original yeah, Buck, Buck Wild Shout out to Buck, so yeah, definitely, okay. yeah. I see you was paying attention. Huh? You have a lot of I names. Know, what Buck Wild? You, you went by a lot of names. Yeah, so I what made you did. pick? I mean, um... I don't know. I, I really can't answer that. But once I once I got with the uh, Hattie Rat, I just you know what it, I think I, I went through a on the street level. Yeah, you gotta tell everybody Hattie Rat. That sounded like one of my grandma. Because it was shot. Right, so H Miles. I think it like Teddy yeah, Ruskin. Yeah, so she, she, know, really. she know. She know what's up. Teddy right? Ruskin. Yeah. Nah, but Hattie Rat. Hattie Rat. I'm Muslim. At the, I'm, I'm Muslim. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So in Arabic, Hattie means to God. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know we all know what racks mean. Back so how do you act, you know? Right. Who did you grow up listening to the most? Huh? Like when you were growing up, who was your favorite artist? My favorite artist? Uh, I have, I have, I would say Biggie Smalls, Jay-Z, Tupac, uh, Big, Big Pun, okay. Big L. He got his mm-hmm. represent for the Bronx. Yeah, I, like, I mean, mm-hmm. just, just, you know, Snoop Dogg. I just like music. That, I've seen that mural in Bron- the Bronx. Yeah, when you gonna visit it. That was, that's so dope. Yeah. What mural is that? I, we got a mural in the Bronx. I can't tell you where exactly. You gotta go visit it, girl. It's not what? It's not all the way done yet. So uh, uh, okay. It's not done yet? No. I'm just, that, I just that need for the people so that don't know. I hope y'all, everyone's invited to visit it too. That's sort of. Where, where, where is it at? It's in the Bronx. Where? where yeah. though? I'm gonna tell you, it's around Pugsley Avenue. Just go to the Bronx. Just go to the Bronx. The Bronx is big as shit. Yeah. Where in the Bronx? Right Pete? Yeah, right Pete. Tell them just 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 come looking for the mural. No, but that's what I'm saying. Like, where is it? 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 Where is it?
saying he got a mural nah, and we, a we big pop mural. Bro, we, it's, 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 it's located around um, on, on Pugsley Avenue. That's dope. I know. That's, that's a secret yeah, shit. That's why we don't want to be Because he was like, like, I can't tell you that. Go ahead, open it. I don't oh, want to okay. tell you where it is. Only the realest. What's your favorite trend? Jack, you going to know about it, though, Jack. So, who do you feel like right now is the most overrated rapper? Um, the most overrated rapper? Um, a little yacht. I don't. What? I don't. I, I can't. Are we asking him or you? <laughs> I'm telling Jack. I'm telling Jack. I'm telling Jack. <laughs> I think. I, you know what I think? You know how I can answer that? I'm gonna answer that like this. I think a lot of uh, a lot of underground um, rappers are, are, are overrated because they get a little fan base in their neighborhood and they feel like they Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna answer yeah. it like I'm that. Go with you with that. Yeah. I, I, I think a lot of underground artists need to kind of humble themselves. And realize that you haven't made it nowhere past your neighborhood or your borough or the state. Yeah, someone in particular. Uh, underground artists, to me, I think you got mainstream artists, people who are mainstream, people who are uh, underground artists, is someone in, in my predicament. I, I consider myself an underground artist where I haven't really made it mainstream as of yet. You feel what I'm saying? If that makes sense to you. Okay. Right, right, right. Yeah, right. So, what would you feel like is the hardest thing for you to cross over the mainstream? Because mm -hmm. Like we know you're lyrical, we mm -hmm. know you have many mixtapes. Mm -hmm. What do you and think? Yeah, like a lot of great, great looks too. Yeah, yeah I, tell a lot him, of good I, tell him, I tell him I got all the girls in the hood sugar. I'm caring, I'm sensitive, and I'm good looking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I don't think I don't. To me, like if you pay attention, let's say Jay Z for example. Jay-Z has never did a crossover record. What he does is he'll bring people from the crossover who make the crossover music, he'll bring them, like he'll do a record with Linkin Park. But you don't feel like Hard Knock Life or anything like that? I don't think like that, that because he's talking about the same things that everybody else is talking about in that record. But that kind of crossed over, or like, come Jay-Z, Jay-Z oh, oh, you mean notoriety-wise, sale-wise, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, 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 yeah. Well, well, yeah, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like, what do you think? You Do you think it's... The fact that you are lyrical, or do you feel like nah, sometimes think, you have to dumb it down nah, to be able to cross over? To I don't think well, so. I think you, I think I, I think a lot of things about timing. Some people luck up, and everything is timing to me. Right. Like where I'm at now, I wasn't here a year ago. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I wasn't next to you last year. Right. Sitting next to you know Laurel and VH1 and all that. Like, I wasn't able to do that. <laughs> Look, Jack said you you better not. I don't not want be no me. static. I but. saw how quick you took your hat off, man. <laughs> That and because ready. because you're not you don't want to sell out or whatever, it will be harder for you to reach that platform because a lot of like a lot of artists or a lot of labels are like we need that dumbed down record for you to pop and then you can be conscious in who you want to be. But it all depends on on, on what's your into what's your uh, what's your because to me you got a lot of artists out here who you may not know of who are very successful. So right. it all depends on what you consider being successful and what you consider being crossover. Right. Because you got people who like. Can you name like a, a Mortal Technique record? Nope. Me neither. But he's a successful artist and he's right, right. making well, two, three million dollars a year. Absolutely. Right. And and people don't think that J. Cole or Kendrick are as as successful as they are, but they're the ones winning the they Grammys. Yeah, they're the yeah, ones yeah, that are yeah, like I think they are too. Yeah. I think they are too. So okay, to, to switch it up a little bit, are you in a relationship? Are you um, fucking? Are you dating? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, are you I'm, married? Nah, we just, we just we just uh we got the New York gritty mixtape coming out. Oh. Make sure I need y'all to I need y'all to get back. You know what I'm saying? We he just curved the fuck out of me. Uh -huh. I probably was. Since you was on my clip, pretty hard. I was on the Yeah, we was friends. I mean, oh. He gave me the Hennessy. Where's that bomb drop? Where's the bomb drop? This my this my girlfriend. They just asked me about my relationship. <laughs> Why are you just next? Yo, yo. The interview has time. This Ling Ling Racks. Oh. Ah, yeah. Ling Ling Racks. Yeah. 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 Look, you owe us for that. Oh. 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 Left it. Left it. Left it. Left it. Give him a left it. See, that's how you keep them.
not your girlfriend. We're good girls. We had to get the sin man to come and drive guys. <laughs> Wait, so when you, I, I, yeah, I, 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 I have a good question. So when you did the All The Way Up remix, uh-huh. what was like Fat Joe's one? response with that? Like, did you? Um, Honestly, you know what was crazy about, excuse me, the All The Way Up remix? When I did that, it was like, I remember everybody, I had about 100 people call me and ask me how I got the beat, because no one was able to get it. Mm. So I think the response that I got for it was dope. I mean, I really liked that record, because with that record, I basically summarized everything I did within mm. this year, well, p- well, prior to you know the record coming out. Um, so the response I got from it was great. You know, I got a few DJs that played it. Shout out to Spazzo, K Slay, mm. um, Self, you know. You know we've been... How did you get the beat? They... I, honestly, I got it off the internet. But nobody else got nobody else internet. God damn. But you said nobody else got it. So I was front, I was front like yo, yo, my man sent it to me. I don't even know. You You know Joe sent it to me. Joe sent it to Remy and Pat. What's your affiliation with Rough Riders? I mean, Rough Riders is the family. Like at the end of the day, that's that's beyond music. Those is people that I, you know, grew up under watching. You know, those are like my mentors, Rough Riders. Mm. I work with Rough Riders on plenty of different occasions. Um, I got a chance to work with DMX. DMX is a huge fan of mine. So I, big shout out to DMX. I got the, actually, I got the, the from when I, I don't know if you've seen that on, it's on YouTube when I actually met up mm. with, with DMX. Like a whole, me He's crazy. Yeah. He should have been over there for him. Yeah, I've been, I've been, you know, we're doing some things like that too. So can you let everybody know what, um, where they can find you at? Yeah, I'm on Instagram. First, they can find me on the Party and Bullshit show, right there. Hey! Hey! But, hey! You know, I'm on Instagram at Hattie Racks, H-A-D-D-Y-R-A-C-K-S. I got my boy Randy Christian with me. He's an incredible R&B singer. Um, Woo! I got young Show your face me. somewhere. Come, ju- come jump there. over the velvet rope and say hi. Yeah, Rand, come here, man. Come here, man. Wait, did you ever get that lotion you was looking for? Because yeah, you yeah, asked like, stop. Who gave it to me? He looked just this like a R&B singer. This nigga hey, caught me coming out the car. Nigga, I was, nah, I was I parking the car. He ran up to the car that? like, yo, you got some lotion? I'm like, who the fuck is this? I thought he was trying to get me. I am like a bunch of girls. Everything is at Hattie Rex. Hattie Rex. And we got it all on the screen. Yeah, we got it on the screen. Listen, I just wanted to make before sure. we close out, I just want to introduce my brother. This is Randy Christian. He's a part of my situation. Hey, Rand, Rand, Rand. Sing a little something, please. Just, just let him hear something one time, please. Come on, let's go. You better kill it, too. I'm going to snatch that mic. <laughs> we Apollo tonight. I see some real pretty, pretty little ladies sitting with me. Anticipating good enough, what don't keep me waiting. I got plans to put my hand in places wow. I've never seen. Wow. No one me. Let me Yeah. <laughs>